Hey everyone, I hope you're having an amazing evening. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Bangkok, Thailand, and tonight for dinner, I'm going to a restaurant called Le Tip, which is the restaurant of Chef Gig, who is, he's the winner of both Iron Chef and Top Chef. He's one of the most talented, one of the most skillful, one of the most, like, incredibly entertaining chefs to watch that I have ever seen. And so tonight, we're gonna have dinner at Le Tip, his restaurant, his family restaurant. And I'm waiting for P. Tan and P. Tip, who are gonna arrive soon to join us. Uh, but every time we come here, things just get a little bit out of control. We eat a feast, um, and it's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be a treat to watch Chef Gig and then to eat. And I can't wait to share all the food with you right now. The tip is uh, Chef Gig, it's his family restaurant, and so he grew up at this restaurant. He's been surrounded by the restaurant his entire life. Uh, it is a Thai Chinese restaurant, but since Chef Gig has, has developed some very unique recipes, some very um, even like Western influenced dishes, but still with a Thai Chinese touch, uh, he has some like gourmet dishes on his menu. I'm not even totally sure what he's gonna cook for us today, but it is guaranteed to just be, yeah, a show and an incredible, entertaining, memorable meal. Yeah. Sadika <laughs> Pitan. Oh, Sadika. It's my, it's my new toy. just got a new toy. That is awesome. Thank you Ying for holding the light. Ethan is here. Chef Gig is starting to cook. Um, and he's making a dish called Gang Som, which is a sour curry, but with crab. This one version with crab right now. It's coming out of the out of the wok right now. <laughs> this is only the beginning. Pico bamboo. Ah, juice bamboo. Chili. It's just amazing to watch Chef Gig as he cooks. He's so fast. He's so talented, he has so much skill. Um, the next dish he's making... Yellow curry. Oh, this. yellow curry. Yeah. Pad pongari. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yellow crab curry, pad pongari. And he is, it's just impressive to watch him as he cooks. Okay, I've seen vegetables fried like that, I've seen chicken fried like that, but never in my life has I seen a crab go up in a flame like that in oil. Unbelievable to watch on the walk. Um, you could smell uh, immediately. I'm just drenched in sweat. You can smell that curry powder. Another necessary component of patpongari or a pongari curry is eggs. So he added in some eggs at that last, and that kind of like curdles the sauce, and that's hot and fresh. Oh wow! So patpongari, it's a curry, um, but it, it's made especially with uh, there's yellow curry powder in it, and then oh, and it is done. Oh, look. <laughs> so fast. So fast. <laughs> okay, so next dish is going to be more of a fusion dish. Uh, red curry with spaghetti. Okay. And, and with uh, real prawn. Red curry yeah, with yeah. spaghetti. Awesome. Yeah. 
ีฟเฟิร์สแอนด์แอนด์แอนด์อัลเลสโอเคครับเนาะโอเคครับอีกแอนด์เฮ้ยเฮ้ยเฮ้ย It's just he just flies on the cooking, and this is only round one. Um, yes. Chef Gig said we should start eating while the food is hot. Yeah, then the round then is then coming then later, yeah. around. That crab is insane. It's massive. Look at the size of it. Look at those claws. Those claws are literally like the size of a of a small hand. Actually, a big hand. You could like you could use that to pick things up with. He's the master. He is the master. <laughs> In awe of chef's skill, that claw is ginormous, a mammoth of a crab of a claw. This thing is an absolute monster. It's like the size of a chicken breast. <laughs> <laughs> it's sweet. Wow, it's so sweet and so. It's so flaky. Yeah. Like, like you can feel the individual strands of the crab. Just get a close-up look in there. That texture is incredible. I'm gonna try a little bit more of that curry, though. That is not a one biter. That is not a two biter. That's like a four biter claw. That has transported me. Oh, do I have some curry on my? To a new world. Taste the undertone. Of that uh, um, yellow curry powder, unbelievable. I'm gonna start with the bepalo, the the duck. You dip it into the sauce, and this is one of their traditional dishes. This is the Thai Chinese dish, uh, one of the original dishes yes, of from the, the parent, from yeah. the parent, from from Chef Gig's parents. Mmm, mmm, so good. Oh, mock. Well, yeah, the sauce is amazing. Really nice and sour. The duck is so tender, like soaks into the duck. A Western Thai influence yes, dish. Yes, kind of like this. It's a red curry spaghetti with a giant river prawn. Cheers. Cheers. Wow! Oh, mock. Mm. Oh, You taste like that creaminess, but then it's spicy. Spiciness because of the the red curry paste in there. And the smell of the herbs like yeah. very outstanding. No, I thought it was oregano, but it's actually Thai holy basil. Okay, so that kind of like fits with the that that fits with the red curry. That's amazing. <laughs> and that's the tamale. That is the the m a n g o o the head of the shrimp. And that's just—it just like blends in with the sauce. You can see that it's like so buttery and creamy. Oh, that is unbelievable! Wow. Flavor is better with with the prawn head. You have that like bitterness of the prawn head, and that's just like equal creaminess from both. It's quite spicy. <laughs> it's spicy, yeah. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna try that gang som. It's so thick. It's so rich from the amount of curry paste that he used in there. Um, and then he, yeah, he again fried the crab before sticking it in here. There's bamboo shoots in there. I can't just wait. I can't wait to taste the curry sauce. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's like it's like sweet at first, but then it hits you with spice, like kind of like subtly going down your throat. And then you taste the. The bamboo shoot, the flavor of the bamboo shoot. Oh man, awesome! And there's just with eggs all over it. Uh, the roe of the crab is so yolky. What's amazing about that king som is how yeah, it starts off like sweet and sour, and then goes to spicy while it's in your mouth, like in a couple of seconds. <laughs> He is amazing to watch cook. I've probably said that a few times already tonight. It's time for round two. The next dish he's making is the m u m a n a o which is one of their signature dishes here, and it's one of the best versions in Bangkok that I've ever had. I 
like that chef when he makes your crab here. He clears out all of the bad stuff. He clears out all the, the dead man's fingers um, so that you don't need to worry about um, um, navigating through those when you're eating the crab. Unlike any other version of Bu Opunsen that I've ever seen. Uh, after the crab was finished, he took some mung bean noodles, put them into that sauce. It's almost like peanut butter looking and thick and like brown thick sauce. Um, and then he assembled it all into the into the pot, into the, the single like baking pan and that's gonna cook for a little while. The next dish that he's making, which is Chef Gigs, one of his signature, one of his ultimate dishes is called Kao Pad Gapao Ne Wagyu. Um, so it's fried rice with holy basil and then with a with a, a wagyu steak on top <laughs> oh that's how you wash your pan after you cook a steak oh i'm a little red in the face <laughs> oh, you 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 hit over in the corner. <laughs> oh, oh, that was awesome. Can you feel that? Up? Yeah, it's still warm. Did you? That will singe. That will singe your hairs. Let me tell you, more that, more that. Say nice. is the most incredible fried rice you will ever see. Just his quickness, his speed, his like forearm muscle. He has to rock the walk and it just, oh man. And then he moves the rock, he works the rock, he shakes it. One of the key ingredients is holy basil, which is chopped up fine. You get that blast of the aroma, the steam. Okay, he also fried the Wagyu steak and that's gonna go, okay, he's about to, yeah, about to assemble it. He takes the rice, the fried rice, right out of the wok. He puts it into a flaming hot earthenware bowl. Um, and then he cuts, cuts up the steak, slices the steak, which has been resting, puts that on top of the rice. Um, and then, oh, a fried egg goes onto that. That's like everything you could possibly want for comfort food, but taken to the next ultimate level. Wow. Chef Gig just mixed it up. You gotta mix it up with the egg, get some of the beef, and that, that rice is so herbaceous. Toast to Chef Gig. Thank you. Oh, and mock up. Oh, yeah. That is still on fire. That is some of the greatest fried rice ever. You can taste the breath of the wok, that smoke from the wok, how he just smoked it out. He fired it out. Um, and then it's in with this earthenware pop, so some of the crunchy edges of the rice get kind of crunchy. And then you've got the beef, which has this amazing pepper crust, which is, it, and, and he, he like literally shallow fried that steak also in a flame. So you've got another layer of smokiness. Um, and then with that creamy egg, that it literally is your favorite, well, my favorite comfort food, I, maybe your favorite comfort food, but, but, but like 
everything about your favorite comfort food just elevated to extraordinary levels. What a genius combination. Wow. I do a long. <laughs> Next up for the Bu Open Sen, and again, this is a version like I've never had before. Um, just the that sauce, that rich sauce that he added into here, plus herbs, plus like all good things at the bottom, and you can see how the egg and sauce just kind of like curdled into there. Just dish after dish, you really taste the the onions in there, and I believe the. Yeah, the green onions, and then there's those kind of like slightly chalky um, crab row, row in there, eggs. Kaimuk Andaman. Pearl of Andaman. Kaimuk Pearl of Andaman. That's the dish, that's the name of the dish. It's an entire giant oyster filling an entire Chinese spoon. I could see Namjim seafood in there, which is the Thai seafood sauce, yet at the same time there's a blob of wasabi at the end of your spoon, and some Nampik Pao, which is the roasted chili jam. Cheers. Cheers. There's so much going on that we don't know what to talk about. <laughs> so refreshing and juicy. Thai chili pears and ikura. And also nam jim si in there? Yeah, yeah. The salmon eggs explode. The wasabi is awesome. Okay, the next dish is mumanao. And that is pork with lime. They deep fry the pork. He slices it and then there, it's, it's all about that sauce. And so it's just, yeah, he just like ladles it on. You see that marbling of the pork. Oh man, this is, yeah. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. The pork itself is like fatty and juicy and marble. And then that sauce, that sauce is unbelievable. It's so garlicky, perfectly sour, perfectly sweet. It's just amazing. Woo! Ooh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> One more, it's a dessert, dessert crab dish that Chef Gig wants to cook for us. So he just steamed another massive crab. So this is just gonna be a steamed crab dish, uh, but he's just showing just immense skill as he cuts that crab. And crab, a crab especially of that size is not easy to disconnect, to dissemble, to chop up detail and everything. I think this one here like so this very delicious. You have to hit it with your cleaver just at the perfect amount of pressure so that it doesn't break the crab inside. It breaks the shell and you can peel it off. Um, he did it amazingly and we have a purely deboned crab on a plate disassembled, dismantled into bite-sized nuggets. So beautiful. All of the body meat is within the head. You've got the claws, you've got the, the arms. It's like a, he looks like he's about to lift weights. For you if you can. <laughs> like half of your face. Uh, <laughs> it's huge. Yeah. It's huge. Yeah, like you don't. It's actually heavy. You could almost use you could almost need two hands to pick this up. And eat it like a drumstick. Look at the size of that. Into the Namjum seafood. Seafood sauce. Oh. <laughs> So pure. It's so sweet. Mm. It's so again just like flakes apart in your mouth. That's an entire mouth of crab claw. The stringiness of that. The greatest possible drumstick you could ever have in your life.
Oh, that was an unbelievable meal. So good. I don't even, I, I kind of lost track about how many crabs we ate, but the crab, those are some of the biggest crabs, some of the best crabs I've had. The actual meat of the crab was so sweet and so massive, and Chef Gig just, he just completely just like, his expertise, his knowledge, his experience, his speed at which he cooked. It's so impressive to see. So I just want to say a massive thank you to Chef Gig Kapu Markov and always great to hang out with Pitan and Pitan. I'll have their links in the description box below. Check them all out. And this restaurant is opened until 2 a.m. so you can come here. This is a late night Bangkok restaurant. They have a nice indoor section as well with AC but we chose to sit outside because it's not too hot today. Thank you all very much for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, subscribe now and also click that little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Good night from Bangkok. See you on the next video.